Hello, welcome to another edition of The Road Back. I'm Rob Thomas with Club and Resort Business. Today's edition of The Road Back is brought to you by The Verding Company. For more than 175 years, The Verding Company has been a manufacturer, pioneer, and innovator of cast bronze bells, carillons, clocks, towers, and organs. You've undoubtedly seen many of Verdon's two and four face clocks at some of the finest golf courses in the country. These clocks are custom made and UL approved and the superior moon glow lit backlit dials are shatterproof. Custom headers, colors, and dials with club logo are available. Optional installation and maintenance by Verdon technicians is also available. Check Verdon.com to learn more. For today's fresh insight into how club and resort properties are meeting the challenges posed by the coronavirus pandemic and finding new and innovative ways to boost business levels and start to return to full operations, we're talking with Ken Kosak, uh, a PGA member and general manager of uh, Belfair in Bluffton, South Carolina. Ken, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Hey, Ken, I understand that you had a, a busy April, even amidst all the pandemic. Uh, can you describe how that happened? Yeah, sure. You know, you know fortunately, it, South Carolina has been one of the least affected states in, in the country. And uh, we, we were very, uh, very fortunate that the governor allowed us to continue uh, with, with golf uh, as a as an activity. And, you know, we, we, we had a record April, played over 8,200 rounds of golf, single cart policy in place. We, we were 2,000 rounds ahead of, of what we had budgeted. And April was a very strong month for us. And what are you, will you be carrying over anything from uh, April to day-to-day -day operations? You know, uh, Belfair's a, a private gated community. So um, uh, we, we have private golf carts that, that our members pay a trail fee for. And what we found is, is with the single cart policy, they're playing in three and a half hours. They're getting around the golf course. We, we've got more availability because folks are playing faster. They're able to get on with their day or fortunately we, we just opened our pool last week and, and the beaches are open now so they can get out and about and get on with their day. So we're gonna carry that single cart policy over at least through the summer, as well as some other things that we've been doing during this whole COVID-19 pandemic. And does that include virtual lessons or anything along those lines? Yeah, we, we've got uh, we're, 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 we've got incredible facilities here. Our members have invested a lot of money and, and we've got an incredible learning center. Dana Rader heads up for us. You know, Dana's brought a lot of really creative programs to our membership. Uh, virtual lessons uh, is one of them. Uh, and also, uh, you know, breaking out Swing Catalyst and, you know, taking those outside, not just in our, in our swing studios, but taking the pad caster out and on the range and, and, and doing some virtual instruction there. And, and also having students video themselves and, and send it to her and providing instruction that dynamic as well. That's terrific. Uh, now you'd mentioned something along the lines of uh, online ordering. Has you've gotten a, a boost through that, and you're able to put your logo on it, specific like one piece at a time, or can you? Explain you can, you can do one piece at a time. You know, uh, we, we there, there was a point for about three weeks where uh, you know everything was closed. We were only doing to go ordering, and uh, you know, the clubhouse was closed, the golf shop was closed, and you know, we talked to our team thought of some really creative ways. You know, fortunately enough that through partners with Troon that we were able to, to reach out to some national accounts and, and develop some relationships that we could extend to our membership. So they would build a site for us and provide a link and we would distribute that to the membership. And they really appreciated that because there was no shopping for a solid three to four weeks. What have your, um, your members, have they been flocking to the online ordering, the individual pieces or? I mean, they can go to any big box store and get a Nike golf shirt under armor. They can, you know, we, we partnered, partnered up with Summit Brands as well as Peter Millar. Um, you know, we, uh, we, we've we got uh, a few outlet malls down the down the street from us. So we try and stay away from, from some of those big box type brands just because, you know, we want to provide something unique to our membership. But, you know, they've been great in, in, in terms of developing programs for us and, uh, you know, we, we've got a, a, a great retail model here where it's uh, it's, it's uh, a modified Mill River plan. So we, we only charge cost plus 20 on everything that we sell. So yeah, it's it's done really well. And uh, golf rounds still going? Golf round, we're going to exceed uh, we're we're going to exceed budget again. Uh, May is uh, May is going to be busier than than April. Um, 
you know, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's been really busy. Thanks to some great weather too. What going forward, um, have you learned from, I guess, you know, this unfortunate situation, but what can you take from this and benefit moving forward? You know, um, we, we are, uh, we're coastal South Carolina. Um, and, uh, in, in three days, uh, hurricane season starts. We actually already had two tropical storms and it's not even, it's not even hurricane season yet. So the, the thing that, that we've done, uh, especially, you know, through, through the months of June and November, we do a lot of pre-planning for storm preparation and, and things like that. You know, the Southeastern United States has been smack pretty good over the last four years with, with some major hurricanes. You can never be too prepared. And in, in making sure that everybody on your team uh, has a solid game plan, they know what their roles and responsibilities are, you, you've got a, a great communication plan and, and for your membership as well as your staff, and you've got the, the, the tools and the resources in place to be able to execute those when you have to push the button. Prior preparation prevents poor performance. I think that's yes. the thing. Yes. Fantastic. Hey, Ken, thank you very much for your time. Uh, this has been another episode of The Road Back, brought to you by Club and Resort Business, Club and Resort Chef, and the Club and Resort Chef Association. Uh, hey, it's our tune pleasure. In next time. Talk to you soon, Ken. Thank you. Take care. Again, today's episode was sponsored by The Verding Company. If you have a great idea or success story you'd like to see featured on a future episode of The Road Back, please contact us at editor at clubandresortbusiness.com.